Hi, Nancy Burt Priest here. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. Here's my email, but this is the important one. This is my website. It's my online store with my um, June host code. Um, you can also check out those other um, resources. But if you don't have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator and you need to order some things, you can get right on my website. It's my online store. I'd love to have you order. It's also a great month to join Stampin' Up! Um, for $99, you're going to get $155 worth of Stampin' Up! product. There's also a designer series, um, ugh, say that, designer series paper sale going on in the month of June. So what are we making today? This is a fun fold card. It's a two four, six, eight card. And um, Patty Bennett designed it. Um, I'm using different paper and monkeys and different things, but um, the actual design of this 2468 came from Patty. And um, I'm using Little Monkey Stamp Set. So let's work and show how to make this card. So I have already cut and scored, but I'll tell you how I did it. And I made a mistake and I actually cut off a little tiny piece here. So I just cut off a little tiny piece there so it would look right. You know, call me crazy. So when you're going to put this in your paper trimmer, the part that you want, the big part should be to the right. And then what you just do is you do it at two four you can open the arm you can see it six and eight and you just do those score lines two four six eight so easy um and then you have your big piece to your right you you first um is going to score it so it's putting the paper this way and then down this way and it just folds up right to the top isn't that cool so if you didn't want to put adhesive where i'm going to show you you could let the other side but i didn't really like the other side so well didn't really go with my monkey theme so what i'm going to do is put make sure i know where that score line is i'm going to put a little bit of adhesive and i'm going to just adhere that down. Same thing with this flap. I'm going to put a little bit of adhesive. Come on, adhesive, here we go. And adhere that down. And you have your two, your couple of flaps. The next thing I'm using is some thick basic white. And I'm going to really adhere this nice. And of course, get sticky all over myself. And like I say, I made that little funny cut. So I just made another one um, to make it easy. Okay, so this is the base of my card. This thick basic white was only a four and a quarter by five and a half. It's just a quarter piece of cardstock. Then I'm going to take my little monkey and I'm going to put some adhesive on the left hand side and I'm going to put it on the top flap. I'm going to make sure there's no adhesive sticky there. Then I'm going to open it up and on my next one I'm going to put some adhesive you don't want to put it all over the circle or you'll close your card. Then I'm going to kind of line this guy up. Maybe down there so you can see him a little bit. Make sure there's no adhesive. Now this one there is a little. So I'm just going to come out. Isn't that cool? It's so cute. And then the only other thing I'm going to do, how am I going to adhere this? I'm kind of, I'm going to put, I already stamped just swinging by to say hi and I left a little space to write but you could always write in the back and I'm going to put a little adhesive on it and here's a trick 
I'm going to kind of make sure it's on the back flap, though. If you put it here, it'll stick the pages together. I'm going to put it on the back flap and make sure it's a little bit less than that monkey. That way it doesn't show. Just a little bit adhesive there. So I got to get, uh-oh, look what happened. It's a little, well, it's like swinging by, that's for sure. I'm going to straighten that up just a smidge and see if it shows. Nope, it doesn't. So you've got this cute little card just swinging by to say hi. I like the ones that you guys, if you come to my class, um, you're going to get the floral ones, which to me, it looked like a jungle. Um, I kind of like these better, but I ran out of that paper because I used it for all of my people. And I wanted to show you how to make this. So I hope you enjoy this very simple two, four, six, eight card. And I don't know if I said all I used was a smoky slate blends and a little flirty flamingo. And it was ready to go. So have a great day.